Hi guys, welcome back to Ghost Witness. And this is video number four. Video number four. Um, and this is called The Haunted House in Fairfax County. Okay, so this house is located in Fairfax County. And I'm not going to tell you what area of Fairfax County it's located because people live in the house. Um, so I'm only going to just describe what happened when I was there. Okay, I just ate an apple and my mouth is all puckery inside. It's weird. This happens. I don't know why. Okay, anyway, so um, I was married and we were going to buy a house. So we went to this particular house and we were looking at the house and um so we it was a large house uh it was a, like a kind of a regular size house but it had a big lot and um so we went outside and we were walking around in the yard and the um the people who were selling the house had children and they had built like a playground back there with actual like really nice playground equipment. Um, there was a deck on back of one of the bedrooms, which led to like a very small little deck, a wooden deck. And then there was a hot tub like adjacent to the deck. And then downstairs, outside of the kitchen and living room, okay, there were two patio doors that like abutted each other kind of I mean they didn't actually touch but they were like kind of at a, a right angle okay so one went one looked into the kitchen and the other one looked into the living room and the living room had two windows that looked onto the street and it was a very quiet neighborhood very quiet like it's the most quiet neighborhood i've ever lived in i tell you i would kill to live in a quiet neighborhood like that again i really would i mean i really wouldn't i'm not going to kill anybody but i mean you don't find quiet neighborhoods like that but that was a quiet neighborhood okay my air conditioning just turned off anyway so um so we were walking around the yard and the people had children like i said and there were all these tombstones in the yard and tombstones made out of cement and they had little phrases like R.I.P. Um, you know, uh, some other phrases I can't remember right now, but they were actual cement tombstones. They were probably, um, I'd say at least a foot and a half to two, I would say two feet, maybe foot and a half to two feet tall and they were the kind that had the dome kind of thing on top so probably what happened was the kids and their parents um they just dug in the dirt you know you dig in the dirt and then you just dig the shape pour the cement and then while the cement is hardening you can um you can write something in the cement that's probably what they did and then when it's hardened you just dig it up rinse off the dirt and you've got your tombstone, okay? So there was probably seven or eight of those tombstones back there, okay? I didn't think anything of it. I thought, you know, this is really cute. Um, how cute, I like Halloween, I like all that stuff. And I thought, yeah, this is really cute, you know? And so anyway, so we ended up buying the house. So at the settlement table, there was uh, the, the owner of the house was like, a you know, a, a, the father, right? So he was, maybe in his 40s, you know, he wasn't that old. And so um, I remember him being very nervous looking, kind of like biting his nails and looking shifty sort of, you know, it, it was kind of strange because I don't understand why he had that demeanor when he sold his house, you know, he got the money he wanted, you know, and if, if he had money trouble, I mean, he would be happy, you know, he wouldn't be you know, looking nervous and uptight, but that's what he looked like, you know? So I do recall that and I mused on that. I didn't so much think too much about the tombstones at the time, okay? I never really thought about them a second time. Okay, so we bought the house and we moved in. And so 
One day, I was in the house by myself, and I was, this was in the morning, in the daytime, and I was, like, I had woken up, and I was just, like, lying in bed, and um, all of a sudden, I heard a noise, and like I told you before, you know, you can pinpoint the noise of, of where it's coming from, and this noise was coming from, like I said before, about a foot and a half from the ceiling. And even though the noise, I could pinpoint where the noise was coming from, like from where I was lying, it was coming from like to the left, you know, up on the ceiling. Even though I knew that, okay, I still reacted the way I did. And what happened was, I just, it was, the noise was children laughing and running on a hardwood floor. Now, a hardwood floor, you know, you can always tell how that sounds, right? It, you know, if you lived in a place with a hardwood floor. I grew up with hardwood floors. So it was the kids running on a hardwood floor. So I'm like, wait a second, what is this? You know, I get up, I go look, and out the window in the master bedroom, down, looking down um, below to this deck. And there was a deck that was outside the kitchen and living room where the two um, the two patio doors sliding glass doors were and it was a wooden deck and there was it was big enough for a table you know you could put a table and chairs out there um, and then right beside the deck there was like a little wall with a fountain okay so the fountain um, was broken when we moved there but my husband fixed it and you know, it's a good thing he did because, um, you know, it, it, there were mosquito larvae in there. It was really gross, and there was a lot of mosquitoes there. And, of course, they, they you know, who did they bite? Me. Anyway, okay, so back to the story. <laughs> I look out over the, out the window, and there's nobody out there. Like, there was nobody there at all. So I'm like, okay, you know, that's weird. So I went back and lie down. And I'm sitting there, you know, lying down for like another five minutes or so. Then there's the sound again, coming from the same place. And this time I was like irritated, you know, so I jump out of bed, you know, fling off the covers. And I go back and look out the window again, nobody there. Then I go to the front of the house, you know, to the window that was in the bathroom, look to the street, nobody was out there. Then I went down around, uh, down the stairs, looking out at that deck I told you that had the hot tub, nobody was there. Downstairs again, looking around. Then I actually walked outside and I was looking to see, you know, who's out there. And there's nobody there, okay? And then I came back inside and that was it. The, I didn't hear the sound again of the children running and laughing on the floor. I didn't hear it. it. That was it. That was the last time. Okay, so then another experience happened in that house, and I was alone again, and this time, this was in the evening. This was at night, so it was dark outside, and I was sitting outside uh, on the, that deck that, that by the fountain, that had the table and chairs and I was sitting in a chair with um, I'm sitting in one chair and then I had a chair opposite me and I was sitting in that chair I mean my legs my feet were on the other chair so my legs were like stretched straight out ahead of me in front of me okay and I was just eating salsa and chips you know and my cat Karma the black cat <clears throat> He was outside, and so I was waiting for him to come back, and then I was going to put him in, then I was going to go in the house and, you know, shut the door, and that was it, right? So I'm sitting there eating chips and just looking around, relaxing, you know, and all of a sudden, like out of nowhere, okay, here comes these two columns of light. They were two like cylinders that were filled with like gold dust, like light filtering down in each cylinder. And they were on either side of my legs. There were two, okay? And they just went up like, you know, five feet up in the air, you know, one on each side. 
and I just go, what is this? And the way that it was, like I told you in my first video, that when these ghosts show up, they are always in a weird place, like physically where you and I couldn't stand or sit. So they were almost like, like my legs were straight out. They were like on me, kind of halfway on me on each side of my legs okay and I'm like what is it <laughs> what what's going on so I get up and I look behind me at that patio door that was looked out into the living room so I look back there and you know I thought like that there was a car maybe coming up the street which would have accounted for the light okay even though how could the car make columns of light going vertical, right? It doesn't make any sense, but I didn't know what else it could be. So I got up and I turned around. I'm looking to see if, you know, looking in the patio uh, door behind me. And then I walked out, you know, the side, to the side of the house and looked down the street, looked up the street, looked down. Nobody was there. You know, it was a quiet neighborhood. It was a quiet night. And there's ghosts there, you know or something, I, you know, I'm calling them ghosts. And this is my theory about what happened. I believe that the ghosts were um, intentionally hiding themselves, like intentionally disguising themselves as columns of light, or they were unable to be in the form that they previously were. Okay, that was my theories. But however, recently, you know, with all this talk of UFOs and stuff, maybe this was some kind of UFO visit, right? Like these two beams coming down. It, you know, the whole thing was just bizarre, you know? Nobody around, you know, it was just me sitting there with my chips and salsa. So that's what happened. That was the hauntings that occurred in that house. And I think, okay, the people who sold the house, that's why they sold it. That's why they made the tombstones. What do you guys think? <laughs> okay, let me know. So that's what happened in that haunted house in Fairfax County. That's, I can't explain it. I don't know. I've never seen anything like it in my life. I hope you like this video, come back again, and I've got a lot more ghost experience that have uh, happened to me that I, I'm gonna share with everybody. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.